konnichiwa, Abby Days. Hey guys, it's Abby, and today's video is gonna be a kawaii vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me as I do a little bit of shopping. So this is what I'm wearing. This is a little like kind of cardigan sweater from Closet Child. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's super, super cute. It's my absolute favorite, and it, and it really gives me himekaji vibes. It was so hard to find himekaji themed clothing when I was in Japan because it's not very popular anymore. I saw a bunch of Jidaike style like fashion or Ryosangata, but I didn't find many himekaji items, so um, Closet Child was my go-to because they sell a lot of like old Liz Lisa clothing. And then this is a really beautiful dress. It's from Liz Lisa and it's also from Closet Child. Once it gets hotter today, I'll probably show it to you guys the way it actually looks without the little sweater. But for now, it's cold. <laughs> and then for my bag, I'm using this really, really cute Taylor Moon thing bag. It's got like a little, like kind of looks like a cat to be honest. And here I have my little Cory Lakuma keychain that I got when I was in Japan. It is so cute. I got this at the Cory Lakuma shop or the Rilakuma shop. I think it was either in Tokyo Station or Arashiyama. I'm not too sure. But I still have my, my Suica card here. I just kind of left it. That's pretty much what I would use it when I was in Japan. So I decided to keep it and I kind of like to use it like a keychain with my kawaii bag. For my shoes, I'm using these really cute like shoes that I showed you guys in my room makeover video. And these are from YesStyle. Don't forget to use my code capital C-U-T-E or cute123 to get 5% off all your orders on YesStyle. They have so many kawaii dolly shoes. That's where these are from. So I feel like they work really well with the outfit that I'm going for because it's kind of like an all white and cream look. Here's a better look of my entire outfit. I'm obsessed with this dress. I really wanted to go for a Himekaji inspired look, so this is what I came up with. My first stop was barbecue chicken. It's one of my favorite places to get fried chicken. My family and I decided to eat outside since it was really cold inside. It took a bit for our food to be ready since the fried chicken is made fresh. I think it's this reason that the chicken tastes the best. We got kimchi fried rice as always, and we ordered two different flavored chicken wings and some fries. Their fries are the best. Trust me, you have to try them. If there's a barbecue chicken restaurant in your area, then this is a sign to go. They sell the best food. Next, I headed to a Japanese makeup and skincare shop. They sold various makeup from different Japanese brands like Kamek, for example. The packaging is so cute. I have to say the marketing for this brand is amazing. They also sold Japanese skincare and hair care items. I honestly felt like I was in Japan when I was in the shop. My next destination was Daiso. Halloween is coming up, so I was excited to see all the new items they had. Aren't these stickers adorable? These Halloween keychains are so cute. They sold this super cute stationery inspired by some new characters I've never heard of. I ended up getting some Halloween plates for our party. Look at this, it's so cute. These cat characters are adorable. Look at this Hello Kitty case, I'm obsessed. I love this little collection, I actually have a My Melody one. They also sell various drinks. These look particularly cute. I honestly get drawn to anything strawberry flavored. Our next stop was Hot Topic. I wasn't there for too long and then headed over to Forever 21. I took a look at all the accessories. They had so many cute socks. Look at these lace socks, they're so cute. Took a look around Uniqlo for a bit. And then headed to Box Lunch. I love checking out all the Disney items they sell here. I especially love their backpacks. Mini sale was next. I was so excited to see all these Sandio items, especially all of my Melody merchandise. Look at this cup. 
I ended up getting it for my mom's birthday. They sold Sandio socks. and a bunch of cute stationery with different characters I've never seen before. Last on my list was H Mart. I love shopping here for Korean food and snacks. I especially love the bakery in the front. This mango filled donut was so good. I always get this Japanese rice. It's honestly the best. I also ended up getting this Japanese granola that is sold everywhere in Japan. I also ended up getting this ice cream that's shaped like a fish. I also got this chiffon cake that didn't end up being as good as I thought it was going to be. Here you can see the fish shaped ice cream. Inside it has vanilla ice cream and strawberry jam. It is so good guys, really recommend it. So these are all the stuff that we got from Daiso. I didn't get all this stuff. Some of these are things that my sister got, and other things that my parents got, but I wanted to show you guys the mini haul anyways. So this is an adorable Mickey Mouse pad. Um, I think you can put your little mouse on there. So it's for your computer. It's so cute. I think my mom got this one since he's a really big fan of Mickey Mouse. And then I think my sister got these because we're planning on having our own like little mini Halloween party, like Mickey's Halloween party. And so we found these ones that were absolutely adorable. I think they're Winnie the Pooh inspired and they're absolutely adorable. They're so cute. We got the matching napkins as well as the matching plates for it. But isn't it adorable? It is so cute. It's like a kawaii Halloween, but it's kind of got the same sort of print. And then my sister got these as well. These are chokorun. Um, I'm not sure that's how you say it, but they're so good. They kind of taste like pocky sticks, but like miniature ones. And they're so cute. They look like little mini mushrooms. But it's pretty much just chocolate and a biscuit. It's really, really good. And I think my younger sister might have gotten this little lead pencil. It's really, really cute. Japanese stationery is adorable. And it's really, really good as well. And then my mom got these ones. So she kind of wanted to do a cute little headband, kind of like Mickey's headband. Um, which she ended up getting like this kind of plain headband here to um, go with the, the little, I think they're like squishies for dogs. Like they make this sound. But um, she's planning on like sticking them on the sides like this and to kind of create the same idea as like the Mickey headband. It's absolutely adorable. It's super, super cute. I think she's going to wear it for Halloween or little Mickey's Halloween party. Um, but it's so adorable. I think it's just such a really cool idea. I think my sister also got this little bag, a Cinderella little baggie. It is so cute. I think Cinderella is one of her favorite princesses. So I think it's absolutely adorable. And my sister got some spatulas because she loves to bake. So these are just must-haves. And this one's so cute because it has like the little Mickey Mouse shape at the top. It's absolutely adorable. I love going to Daiso for Disney items as well because I think Disney is very popular in Japan. Like there's so many really cool Disney shops in Japan. I actually got to go and I just love it because it's two of my favorite things. All things kawaii and Disney. But that is kind of the end of the haul for today. Subscribe to my channel for more kawaii content and follow me on Instagram. As always, thank you guys so much for watching us. You guys in my next video. Bye bye.